I don't know where to start with this one. Um, well, yes, I do actually. Craig Pawson and your officials, you are fucking shite. Absolutely fucking garbage. You know, yet again, we're talking about referees. Why? Why can't the head people in charge of these referees get something sorted out? Tony Mowbray has, has, has got his team playing really well. He set them up for the game tonight. All them fans have travelled down there for the game to be spoiled by two absolutely shopping decisions. Absolutely shopping. Nothing against Blackburn, fair play to them. You know, they have done no wrong. Congratulate them on the win. You know, top of the league, great. But nowhere were Blackburn two goals better than us. Look at these stats. Look at the stats from the game. We've absolutely battered them second half. First half was even. Yes, it was a great strike by Barrett and Diaz, but it's a stonewall penalty. It's an absolute stonewall fucking penalty. And then, fair enough, you're going at 1 0 down. You come out after the break, set your team up. They get a free kick, crossing the box, not even close, he's a yard offside, linesman, right in line with it, gives note. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? And the, the frustrating thing is, after the game, the managers can't come out and say anything you can't criticize them why because you get fined or oh, no you can't criticize referees it's not allowed why not why not why not can you come out and say the referee has been absolutely shocking when it's the truth you know he's been demoted from he was in charge of man united newcastle the weekend and why was he demoted to the championship because he was shite. That's why. Premier League referee. Honest. I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. You know, a, a great performance tonight. Honest. I think we played really well. We absolutely, you know, the football we played. Yes, you may be able to criticise, you know, Robertson Clark for not passing the ball, but. When you haven't got that focal point in, in the middle, who do you pass to? Who do you pass to? Anyway, so we started the game as, as I predicted. Um, we had Patterson in goal, we had Lugo and I and Danny Bat, Adji Alicia, Dennis Serkin, we had Dan Neil, Corey Evans, Patty Roberts. Emble Elliot Embleton, Jack Clark, and Alex Pritchard. Like I like, like I thought the team would be. Um Corey Evans coming back in the in the side after his one game suspension um to replace Lyndon Gooch, who didn't even make the squad, didn't even travel down. Um and like I've just been saying, you know, the first half was even. It was an even game. You know, and you know, bear in mind these were fifth in the league. Now the top. I see it again, shopping. Honest, I'm absolutely fuming. Absolutely fucking foaming about that referee. Craig fucking Pawson. Anyway, I'll get back to the review. So we, we've... Even game, Jack Clark beats his man, cuts inside... Defender clearly kicks his foot. Clark goes down. Referee, five, six yards away. Gives it the old, waves it away. 22 seconds later, 
They go down the other end. Yes, fair enough. It's an absolutely cracking strike from from Brereton Diaz, who I thought actually, you know, to be fair to him, he looked really good tonight. You know, if we had somebody like that in our team, we'd be top of the league. And I've got no qualms about that. You know, some of the football we play, we have someone like him in our team. We are top of the league. Um, but so they get the goal. We're getting one 0 down. Um, even first half. And then we come out second half, you know, we changed the formation a little bit. Jack Clark moved to the left hand side. Um with Embleton pushing a bit more forward. So we, we had we still the same formation, but here Jack Clark was playing more on the left hand side. And then five minutes into the second half, you know, the the right winger skins certain certain pulls him back, gives the free kick away. But but then, you know, again another absolutely shocking decision. Ball comes in. And he's a yard offside. And again, lies in right in front of it. Right in the line with And out. You can't legislate for things like that. But to be fair to the lads, you know, we go 2-0 down. And after that, we absolutely battered them. We absolutely battered them. And if we could have, if we could have nicked a goal, I think we'd have gotten a draw. But again... We know we haven't got the centre forwards, we know we're struggling, but I can't fault them tonight. I can't. I thought we were absolutely fantastic. You know, the football we played, the subs who came on, you know, he made a triple change midway through the second half where um, Ahmad Barr and Bennett came on for uh, for Pritch, uh, Embo and Dan Neil. And again, when they come and they look comfortable on the ball, you know, that um, Abdullah Barr looks so smooth and comfortable on the ball. Ahmad was getting the ball down, trying to beat people. Um, Bennett, I know he got built as soon as he came on, but showed his passion. Um, and then when Mishu came on as well, you know he looked, he looked good and looked good on the ball. He was getting on the ball and spraying it about. Um, one thing that I thought was a little bit strange, you know, I was obviously we lost Aji Alicia towards the end, which is another worry. Um, but he brings Trey Hume on instead of Bailey Wright. Now, if, you know, is Bailey Wright that far down the pecking order? Um, when you're struggling for centre half, and he puts a right winger on, uh, sorry, a right, a right back. Strange one. So I don't know what's going on there, but never mind. He didn't too do Paraxi when he came on. Um, but all in all. You know, I can't fault the lads' performance. Um, you know, if we play like that, we'll, we'll, we'll win more games than we lose. And once we get a centre forward, we'll get Sims back hopefully soon and Stewart back, you know, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, but it's just it's just frustrating. Um, apologies for the language um, throughout the video, but it's, I don't know, it's just so annoying. So annoying, but anyway. Um, so overall, we're, we're down to 12th. I'd have still, you know, took that before the season started after 15 games or whatever it is. Um, and to play that many games without, I think we've played, you know, how many games have we played now without a centre, without a centre forward? Six, maybe. You know, and we're still picking up points, which is, which is good. We'll move on to Burnley at the weekend, which will be another tough game. You know, they're up there. Uh, but never mind. You know, hopefully. The lads don't get too down after after the day. You know they'll watch it back and see how well they have played, and then they realise that it's too you know shocking decisions that's undone in the night. Um, I really hope that there's that there's some kind of you know punishment for Craig Pawson. I hope he gets demoted to the League One again. I hope he goes straight through the leagues, Premier League, down to the Championship, down to the League One because he's an absolute disgrace. He's an absolute joke. Absolute joke. Um. But anyway, I'm, I keep digressing. Thanks for watching. Um, like I say, look out for the match preview for Burnley game at the weekend. Um, like I say, overall a great performance tonight. You know, yes, we've lost two 0 That's the first time we've been beat by more than two goals this season. I think. Um, we move on. Write it off. Um, still played well. Move on to Burnley and hopefully you know we can, we can get a result at the weekend back at the stadium. Um, but until then, like I say, watch out for the for the the, the preview. Thanks for watching and um, please like and subscribe. Um, 
anybody traveling back from blackburn have a safe trip um and as always take it easy stay safe and we'll speak soon Ta-da.